All right, I'm here with Nana, who has taught a ton of developers and operators, cloud operators, how to use Kubernetes. And I think that's awesome, love it. But is Kubernetes too hard? Uh, yes, <laughs> it has been a huge advantage uh, for me to start teaching a tool that was incredibly complex, but also becoming popular. Working with, with uh, users of Kubernetes and trying to educate people, like what are some of the challenges that you see around tackling that complexity? The biggest issue that I've seen with teams that had a running cluster set up in production that was actually missing a lot of the best practices of the cluster. No like proper um, like ingress entry point, no proper load balancer setup. The security is a huge part because security is something that you don't notice is not there until you have security issues. I think the best abstraction is when you automate especially the operations side. So the, the feature of EKS Auto Mode, which is uh, one of the recent ones, is covering exactly that use case where you say you are a startup and you're like, we don't, we don't want to manage cluster because you know, we need to do the upgrades ourselves. We need to um, have you know, a, a DevOps engineer dedicated to just managing the cluster. As a startup, you may not want to use the engineering resources for infrastructure management and cluster management and rather use them for maybe developing the features yeah. or the business logic and you just use uh, EKS auto mode. I think the abstraction coupled with flexibility makes it a more attract uh, attractive option. Amazon EKS auto mode fully automates Kubernetes cluster management, simplifying your operations and freeing up your time and effort to focus more on the applications powering your business. Give this a try, give EKS Auto Mode a try and let us know what you think. And thank you, Nana, for thank teaching you. all of us all about all these things. Thank you.